This has a little bit of a gold and bronze finish on these sides. I wouldn't mind getting into that later. Definitely after our more interesting decks. Oh, it says Hallmark. I didn't even know. So apparently this is a Hallmark deck. Okay. We've seen this before. I hope. Fake Coca-Cola. 1954-64-52. Christmas playing cards deck. I believe it's from 1996. There it is. And it's a nice...
I enjoy them just for the slight variation, but really not too much different than a deck of bicycle cards, so let's put those back.
such an awful sight. Nothing against Wolf Feral, but my goodness, it wasn't necessary to get that many close-ups. You got the idea. One of my least favorite decks, and it honestly turned me off. That must be quite the uh, thrill of 
of a bet in seven dollars. Can't see the date. Pit two. So little moments in history are caught in these decks, which is a little bit of a cool thing for the ones that have it. Um, let me grab the other casino cards while I'm at it. Because after this, we're pretty much done with the first part of the definitive playing card collection. I bought these from like the Dollar Tree 99 cent store. Nothing special, same thing that's in here. I wanted to get like different color decks for the channel, but I was not pleased with the quality and the way they turned out on camera, so I just kind of scrapped the idea. I recorded a couple, but just didn't really fit what I wanted. Same situation, just explains. Some of them explain the table, most of them don't. Lastly, some are unopened or just resealed for whatever reason. Bam. And I got this with another poker chip deck, so let's open this up before we get the last three of the night. And then the next video we'll get into the more interesting cards. So standard look. I think this is kind of like a magic kit deck. Standard face cards. You got the deal already. So let's put them back. And get into the final three. I'm not gonna lie. I do have a couple decks I cannot show you particularly on YouTube just because of, I want to be the most courteous towards other people's sensitivities, whatever it may be, even though I have like zombie stuff, but it's just more in the, what's the, um, the other category, I have like three or four of those, what they're called, interesting stories, but that could be for another time, another date, but anyway, Bicycle Club playing cards, I got this uh, probably when I was 12, very rare that I kept my playing cards more than a year because they always ended up scattered and I'd lose them. Very bad at taking care of my possessions, playing cards wise, but not too bad of a deck. I think I got this at Target or something. Might be worth bringing back during Halloween time, but just kind of lost since it's so old. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that too. Maybe this deck will come back at some point, so I'll look forward to that. Let me know if you'd like it to. Fairly simple in my opinion, but sometimes simplicity is the best. And lastly, The Walking Dead. Got these at Target. Fairly disappointed. But at the time, I think walk The Walking Dead was in its probably around season three or four. And that's when I liked it the most, right from season one to four. And just a quick little idea of what's inside. For those of you who enjoy that series, kind of tough to handle the same pictures over and over again. Little variation just kind of seemed like they rushed a product, so not my favorite. I wish they put more effort in their, their playing cards, but anyway. That is it for the first part of the Definitive Playing Collection. I know we want to start with the bang, but good things take time. So, I hope you enjoyed. That's it for tonight. Next time, I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll try my best to get it out soon. We'll get into a much more interesting set. But besides that, I hope you have yourself a peaceful and relaxing remainder of your night. <laughs>